racó. Una deu per avui no per demà, una deu fins aviat. Marxo ara que es fa tard per aprendre el següent pas. Gràcies per estar en el camí de preguntar com es fa això de preguntar. Venice, a city built from nothing, now the most beautiful city in the world, is built on more than 100 small islands in a lagoon in the Adriatic Sea. It has no roads, just canals lined with Renaissance and Gothic palaces and thousands of tourists. We wander the small maze of streets. It's notably one of the easiest places to get lost and I could not be more enthusiastic at the prospect. We stroll beside the canal. I feel as though I had been let into some secret where the night doesn't gather any darkness, its treasure is shining from the waterways. This Venetian lagoon was once the greatest trading powers in European history as well as a European end of a Silk Road trade route. We walk over the famous Rialto Bridge, the oldest of the four bridges spanning the Grand Canal. We stop and watch the boats troll past. The next morning we explore the charming passageways of Venice by day. And it's equally romantic as we pass by gondoliers in their black and white striped uniforms. Everything catches your attention here, and as we gaze out over one of the many canals, I can't help but wonder how they built Venice on water. By accident, we find ourselves in the central square, Piazza San Marco, Venice's living room. Life has revolved around this piazza since the days of the Republic, when it was a market as well as the center of civic religious life. It is surrounded by stately arcades of public buildings and the famous basilica, St. Mark's Basilica di San Marco. Originally the Doge's private chapel, the place is richly decorated beyond your imagination. It is where the Venetian crusaders brought shiploads of Byzantine treasures after the fall of Constantinople. It is the landmark of all of Europe. The ornamental exterior of the western facade of the basilica is exquisite. I don't know what to look at first, and even if I did, I wouldn't be sure what I was looking at, as the architectural features incorporate Romanesque, Gothic, and Byzantine styles. Before entering the church, the domes and arches depict beautiful mosaics from the 13th century. They represent the creation, Cain and Abel, Noble's Ark, the Tower of Babel, and the stories of Abraham, Joseph, and Moses. Multicolored marble columns stacked in double colonnades flank the main entrance. Welcome to Venice. Okay, we're, we're standing in front of the Basilica di San Marco. 
right here in St. Mark's Square in Venice. And it is so magical. In fact, all of Venice is magical. This is a must um, visit if you come to Italy. We head to the south side of St. Mark's. There are two columns, St. Theodore and St. Mark, on the waterfront which mark the entrance to the city that Venetians do not walk between, as they used to execute criminals on the spot until the mid-18th century. We stroll back through the busy plaza, through the shops and narrow streets. We take a shortcut across the Grand Canal on a traghetto or ferry. It's a perfectly slow ride waiting for the other commuting boats but I can linger on this canal all day. Unfortunately, we must bring this fairy tale to an end and leave the treasures where they were found, knowing there's truly no place like Venice. Para pendre el següent pas.